Now, I don't want us to panic just yet, but I may have gotten a little ahead of myself last episode. Hello guys, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Replicating Ranieri with Stuttgart, where today we are playing two more games in the Bundesliga season, and thank goodness we are still on top of the table, but only by one point, and our goal difference, ooh, she could be looking a bit better, I'm not going to lie. Since last time out, we've been a bit shaky, I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, it's not been... Exactly smooth sailing. We got knocked out of the German Cup, which obviously we're not too disheartened by. Then we managed to beat Borussia Mönchengladbach, but then we drew to Cologne at home. Really should have been a win. And then a loss, 5-0 to Schalke. Hard one to take. We pulled it back with a 1-0 uh, home win to Mainz. Even that was a bit touch and go here and there. And I'm not feeling as confident as I did at the very start of the season. But you know what, we're still... On the top of the table after 13 games. 32 points. We're playing amazingly. But we need to make sure that we don't slip up. We have lost our first game. Yep. So that's out of the way. We're not going unbeaten. We're not going to be the, the new Arsenal Invincibles. But we're going to do our best to keep going. And see if we can continue moving up the table. Well, there's no way to move up the table, is there? Gaining points and staying on top of the table for as long as we can. We're going to jump straight into the first game of the episode against RB Leipzig in the hopes of doing just that. A highlight off the kickoff is not something that we usually see, but, well, it's obviously something we're seeing today. Them on the ball, knocking around very well. One of us should be able to get a tackle in, but we don't, and they end up with a very good opportunity very on in the game. And, uh... It's a little bit concerning now, isn't it? Hempel clears it away from the corner, and that should be the end of the chance. Hopefully it'll be the end of the chance. Is this the end of the chance? No, it's not. But that should be the end of the chance. And I've got a chance to, you know, survive that. Change that onto the league table. Oh, there we are. Top of the table. Don't mind if I do. Um, the only problem that I'm really facing with this squad is definitely the fact that I feel like I can't get much out of the wingers, despite the fact that we are absolutely... Just riddled with depth in that position. Oh, we've given away a penalty. Good job. Well, excuse the winger chat for a second as they step up for a penalty and put it into the corner. That wasn't even the corner. I think there was a little bit of lift on it. Fiend. Mm. And that's dampened the mood now, hasn't it? Oh, that was perfect height for the goalkeeper. Come on, maybe we should get a bit of goalkeeper in the window. But, as I was saying before, despite the fact that we have so many wingers, Sabitza, uh, Boom, uh, Meyer, Drexler, and we've also got the striker that is a reserve and can also play in the wing position. Are they going to score again? Are you serious? Are we being serious? Oh, for goodness sake. I don't want to fall out of first plate. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? See, I, and also, my other problem is I just feel like they don't, they, they either play really well or just have shocking games, and I just don't understand what I'm doing to make the shocking games happen. Like, what is that? Just what is, what is that? Who, who was that pass meant to be to? That's just terrible. Come on. Um... Can I finally change? Can I finally finish my winger chat? Um, despite the fact that we have all those players, I feel like none of them have really performed. Like Boom has come up big a couple of games on camera, off camera. He's one of the worst players on the pit. That's not true. I love Boom, but he doesn't do a lot. None of them do a lot is the issue. And I use like the exact same uh, tactics I would for any other team, and the exact same tactics that I have used for other teams that have worked really well. But I just can't seem to get the best out of these lads. If they score again, they, luckily they haven't. I mean, are we dominating position? We are all over them in position. I feel like there's something I can do to to counter. Maybe we should embrace that. Go slightly, slightly slower. Work the ball, mate. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I just all I know is you click Gagan press and you start winning games. I don't, I don't like it when it doesn't work. I really thought this would be the season. I, my doubts are starting to creep in, and they're, they're growing. The creeping is growing into a serious reality, and we're losing 2-0 to 
going into half time. And, and now I'm not saying that this is an extraordinary result, but come on. We should be playing a little bit better than this. Let's move on to a positive mentality. See if we can do anything just before half time. Get creative. Get creative. I mean, um, it took me about five in game minutes to find get creative, but that's okay. Half time. And gosh, you guys, you guys are probably so sick of when I get salty. I just can't. Whenever things go slightly wrong for us, I'm just like, meh, meh. I'm like, like a five year old kid that doesn't get a lollipop. <laughs> that was a good analogy. Um, now, now, see, I always, I always get salty, and then I make a good joke about me being salty, and I'm like, oh, I'm hilarious, and then my mood gets turned around. Uh, they've got another opportunity against us. Fiend, the one who uh, scored from the penalty, gives it away, and Maya's able to dribble up the pitch. If he can score, it would make me feel a lot better about our winger situation. He cannot, and I still feel very bad about our winger situation. You know what? He's even picked up a knock. So. And also, a combination of that and the 4.5 rating is enough for me to bring him off, to be completely honest with you. What what foot is Drexler? When I was saying that, I did realise that there is one thing that I'm not doing that I normally do do. Oh, do do, that's funny. Um, And that's play with a winger. I normally play with one inverted or inside forward uh, and the other one a winger. On, I prefer them to be on attack duty, but if the in, inside forwards are on attack, I don't want, like to make them both on attacking duty. But either way, um, I normally play with a winger, so maybe that's what's mixing it up. But then even still, one of them should really be performing. Oh, I, don't, I have no idea. I, I really don't know. I, uh, y y I like to think that I'm good at this game. It's not true, actually. I continuously say on my channel I'm not good at this game. But... I just have no idea, like, I, I used to make my own tactics, but then I started, make, I started, you know, finding the right tactic in this game, and I realised I was just using the Gagan press, but without actually pressing the Gagan press. I think the only difference was that I didn't do short kicks from the goalkeeper, because I felt like it just wasted position. I swear, are we getting a red card now? No, we're just giving away a free kick in a good position. Whipping it in. They get it out. Oh, good goalkeeper. Honestly, this goalkeeper, I'm sorry, but he's just shocking. He does nothing. And Boom's been injured. Oh, my goodness. Boom. Come on, man. We've, we've substituted both wingers now. <sighs> I'm out of breath from just watching this team. Gonz Gonzalez can't score to save his life these days as well. It's just, there's so many issues with the squad at the moment. Maybe we'll try playing him on an advance forward. That, that's worked previously with other things. This, this change of tactic has, has just not worked. We'll go back to a high, yeah, just normal gag and press. It works. It's trialed and tested. We know it works. Strax is on the ball. Terrible ball into the middle. I'm trying not to be salty, but a little bit of salt is coming through. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're going into the last 15 minutes. I mean, I think we've kind of accepted our fate. Well, I have. I don't know if the squad has. We're a good ball into the middle. Oh, if we scored there, I would have certainly been excited for the last few minutes. But, you know, alas. And now we're just running down the clock. I mean, an opportunity now. Yeah, why did it go bounce? Actually, sorry. I'd just like to reevaluate my tactical decision making there. Why did it go balanced? We're, we're two goals down with 15 minutes to go. It's not like it's 10 nil. I don't need to be preservative and keep our pride in check. What's going on? This is this is not the Raxo FM that you guys know and love. Well, I hope you know and love. I try my best with this content. Sabita puts a good... Oh, I wanted to say a good ball. My mouth was saying it, and I watched it, and I was like, well, I can't justify saying that, can I? But eventually it comes out to Draxler, who does put a... But, uh, is that a good ball? Offside. <sighs> We're doing well in this league, but I feel like my expectations are just through the roof for, for just stupid reasons, because they did so well in the first few games. We're just, I don't know, it's annoying dropping points, to say the least. Rainer trying to get to the ball. What what happened? He was offside. Oh, okay, sweet. Are we going to, are we just watching the full-time whistle be, being blown? I think we are. I oh, think, CFM. Just, just a reminder that this game is going bad, you know, you're like, oh, you know what, let's really milk it, you know, Rexo, 
He's 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 getting too cocky. Let's knock him down a peg or two. This is a game that he's playing on camera. You know how we know? It's because he's annoyingly talking a lot. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna move down to second place for the first time since the start. Well, not the start of the season. Three games into the season, maybe even, maybe even third place. <sighs> Boys and girls. I got way too excited way too quickly. Next game is up against Hoffenheim at home. Even that's a very drawable or losable game, but we're going to do our best, and hopefully we can sort out the swinger situation or something. Maybe I, maybe I should go with the diamond. That worked that one time. Who did we use the diamond against? We used the diamond against... It wasn't... No, it wasn't you. It was Borussia Dortmund because we got a sending off. Maybe I should start training Diamond. Well, hopefully we come away with a little bit of a better result in this match. As we have dropped down to 14th place. Like, I will admit, yeah, we can move back up to 15th if we come away. I mean, 15th. First place if we come away with all three points and a win by 23 goals. <laughs> yeah, the goal difference is really going to bite us in the ass soon. I just have a feeling about it. This is the team that we're going with. Uh, change it up just a little bit, but not too much. Basically the same thing, which maybe isn't the most intelligent call ever, but I've proven to not be the most intelligent person ever. We'll go with the diamond if we really feel like we need to. I am training it now because, well, I'm not training anything else, so, you know, feel like I probably should be doing something. But uh, I don't feel like this tactic's done bad enough just yet to really... Uh, justify changing the formation at this point in time hopefully we can come away with all three points tonight i'm really really hoping we can i'm not feeling that optimistic though they're a very good squad can't really recognize too many players on their side but i mean the fact that they're up in the sort of champions league europa league push makes me think that they're a very good lineup and straight off the bat they are miles offside there I mean, didn't even show the yellow line, but that's all right. <laughs> um, so, a little bit nerve-wracking start, to say the least. Knew that was always offside. That's why I didn't even bother mentioning it, but that's okay. We come away with an opportunity there, straight at the goalkeeper. So, one opportunity apiece. Theirs did end up in the back of the net, though, to be fair. But, uh, to be fair, he was miles offside. But, you know, uh, we'll see how the game pans out. Hopefully, we come away with all three points. I feel like I've said that, like, so many times so far but i'm really hopeful come on i'm gonna i'm gonna be really emotional if we don't win this game not not really emotional but you know moderately oh, i feel i feel a big loss of hope to say the least and an opportunity is coming our way it gets into the right area but unfortunately we can't make it count a clearance does mean that we have to regroup from the back but we don't mind that at all we're good at doing that i say that as they almost get the ball off us but luckily they don't boom in on goal Oh, damn it. I was really hoping that Boom could come on, be amazing on camera as well, but unfortunately it doesn't. Wait, is it Boom or Bomb? I think it's Bomb. Yeah. I think, oh, I don't know. It's just a B and an O and an M. It's, it's, I think it's Bomb. I, I've been calling him Bomb, I'm pretty certain. Hutchinson playing it through to Gonzalez, who really should be doing better from that sort of a position. Now I'm confused. Was I calling him Boom or Bomb? I was calling him Bomb. I'm pretty certain I was calling him Bomb. Don't worry about me. Focus on the game. <laughs> I should get... Uh, you know what I should do? I should pay a commentator to just, like, cut me off. Uh, a co-commentator, that'd be good, to cut me off when I start talking about really pointless, stupid things and get back onto the game. And with that said, let's get back onto the game because we have just scored straight after the break. And that is what we wanted. Gonzalez back on the score sheet, which is probably, he is definitely the person I would have picked to score a goal because he needs his confidence back. He hasn't scored for about five games, to be completely honest with you all. So I'm very glad that he is back on the score sheet and uh, hopefully that can continue in the next few games off camera. We are on the ball once again in the right area. Bomb on the ball, playing it out to Hutchinson, back into Bomb, but he can't quite get it into the back of the net. Not having the best day at the office, neither is Sabitza, to be completely honest with you. Is it diamond time? 
I don't think it is. We're winning. That would be a dumb decision. You guys are all probably looking at me like, why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of thought about it for a couple of seconds and realized very quickly that'd be a stupid idea. We're going to, although we are going to make a substitution and it is going to be bomb to come off and we're going to bring on Drax or Meyer. Drax or Meyer. Meyer. I don't know why I've picked Meyer, but I've just gone with it. Does it want to make the change or I think I missed him? That's all right. That's that's my fault. Don't stress. Uh, Sabitza can be an inside forward on the attacking mentality. He can be an inverted winger. Hopefully one or the other can do a little bit better than Bomb has so far this game, despite having quite a few opportunities to be completely fair to him. At the back post, we have an opportunity. Go straight at the keeper, though. They might be starting to count. No, they don't. <laughs> we have another opportunity straight afterwards. Gosh, we're all over them in this half. Gonzalez playing out on that left-hand side. Hopefully there's someone in the middle that he can find. No, there's not. He goes himself. He may as well be a left winger because that's basically what left wingers do in Football Manager this year. Run forward and shoot from impossible and absolutely stupid angles. And hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass as they come at us. Musa with a shot well over the bar. Well, you can't really tell. Well, it felt like it was well over the bar. Ten shots to their four. You have to say with a dominant force, maybe a little bit less position. But still, I have, a, I have a feeling that we probably should be able to add to this lead or just ride it out. Hopefully, we can just ride it out or, you know, adding to it wouldn't be too bad either. Savita also having a really bad game. Maybe I'll move him on to the Raul Duta position. I've never played with that. I just don't know what it does. It's too long of a word. It, it's, uh, it's confronting. It's frightening. It's not comfortable for me. I'm not I'm not okay with it. But I guess we'll experiment. And if he scores from here, I'll probably be forced to uh, continue playing him in that position until he stops scoring from there, which would probably be next game. But either way, we are on the ball right now. Hutchinson in the right sort of area, but shoots it right at the goalkeeper. And gosh, we are, we're doing a good job at doing that. You know, if, if you got a point for every single time the goalkeeper caught the ball... We'd be absolutely smashing them. We have one last opportunity in this game. The right back on the ball playing... Well, no, actually, that wasn't the right back. Scrap that. Eventually, we play out the Rogerio, who plays it into Sabitza. Can't get his head on the ball, and I swear to goodness, I couldn't. I didn't want to say God, and I don't know why. If they score... I th oh, oh, my God! Are you serious? We've been all over them like a bad rash, and that... Oh my gosh, it's so against run of play. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Oh, that's ruined our season. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of my team. Goalkeeper. Do we have a substitution? We do. I'm sorry, I've got to. That is just the worst mistake I think I've ever seen in Football Manager. We're going attacking, we're showing some passion. But oh my god, I, d I want him gone. I want him gone. I want him gone. I want him out of our team. And that, oh my goodness. That doesn't even ruin our title chances or anything. It's just the dumbest mistake ever. Plogman. It's, it's even a terrible name. Plogman. What kind of a name is that? I'm selling him in January. Which, luckily for us, is literally just around the corner. And by literally just around the corner, I mean, like, two weeks away. So, yeah, we're going to set an instruction for a goalkeeper. Because I'm not dealing with that for another half of the season. Absolutely shocking. Three months. I didn't even say goalkeeper did it. I'll do it off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, actually, I'll do it while I'm doing my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this episode, despite the fact that I had a wee rage at the end of it. But I feel like that was slightly justified. You know, that, that's kind of me trying to justify it myself. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. And I will see you all later. Alright guys, in the interest of being fully transparent, unfortunately my save did freeze. So that means I have to go back to before the games that we just played. So they don't mean anything, unfortunately. But what I'm going to try and do is get a 2-0 a result against 
RB Leipzig, just like what happened in the video, and a one-all draw to Hoffenheim. I'll do it as many times as I can, and I just want you guys to know that I genuinely don't save and load any of my series. I think it's stupid. I want to complete this challenge properly, and I hope that you guys think this is the best outcome. Unfortunately, my potato of a laptop just ruined it for us, but I think this is the fairest way to get it back to where it was before. So I'm really sorry that what you guys watched isn't quite what will actually happen but we will get the exact same results i'll make sure of that thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry to end it on this note but it's what i gotta do and i'm gonna try and make it the fairest because as i said before if i complete this challenge i want to actually do it properly because this is a season where we could potentially beat the challenge but i want to do it right so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all later i spent literally an hour of my life trying to get it to a 2-0 loss I ended up having to settle with a 3-1 loss because it ended up taking me making Gonzalez as our goalkeeper to make them beat us. How we didn't win this in our first game is absolutely beyond me. Please accept it. I'm so sorry, you guys.